This Week in Agribusiness, serving America's most essential industry, is brought to you by Case IH. Thanks for joining us here for This Week in Agribusiness, ladies and gentlemen. One of the things we've noticed over the past 10 years is how modern farm machinery continues to grow and continues to get more complicated. Max had a chance to check in with our friends at Case IH as they look to the future about just what farm machinery might be able to do. Max? Mike, in our visit to the Case IH Experience Center in Racine, Wisconsin a few days ago, as you looked all around, there was a nod to the rich history of that company, as you see some of the old machines on display. But in our visit with the president of Case IH Global, Scott Harris, we talked about the future, things like autonomy and electrification. Sustainability is, is, is something that uh, we're very interested in and committed to and the company has been for some time and recognized annually at the, the Dow Jones Sustainability Index and in other uh, mechanisms and, and avenues. But yeah, electrification, autonomy, aut automation, all of it designed to help producers do more with uh, every acre they, they work, uh, but also to sustain that our ability to feed and produce on a fixed number of, of arable acres a, a growing uh, population and uh, yeah you you have invested I mean I I think of monarch I think yep. of Raven yep you, you've put money into this haven't you for sure we're pursuing it aggressively the the industry is moving faster than ever um, the needs and demands are, are, are moving faster than ever. Monarch is one of them. Raven is a really exciting new one, uh, as you may be aware. I mean, they're they're really experts in the in the application space and in the precision application space specifically, but also in autonomy. And that acquisition is really facilitating the the acceleration of the advancements that we started here with the autonomous tractor in 2016 uh, to expand it to other platforms in, in spreading, for example, in fertilizer spreading and in, in grain carts and in tillage. All of that is uh, deeply in the works and uh, we'll be seeing those in the field this, this year. For those doubting Thomases among us, and maybe I, I'm a little bit on the, on, the, on the line there, on the border a little bit, electrification, bringing that to, to tractors. This is, this is a very real possibility. Is I mean, it's not pie in the sky, is it? No, it's, a, it's actually happening today. The challenge is going to be, how do we move up the horsepower range and with the size of batteries and, and, and what it takes in order to get the same power that we can get out of a, a, a diesel power plant today, but it's coming. With the sure. financial commitment that's being made though, mm -hmm. all across industry to electric uh, generation mm -hmm. mo motivation, uh, mm -hmm. movement of equipment, uh, it's gonna happen. There's no question. And we're seeing even outside of our industry, the adjacencies are going there as well, whether it's over the road trucking or uh, auto, uh, we'll be leveraging those, those learnings as well along the way. There's absolutely no question. Data, it's one of the most important crops I've always said that the, the farmer uh, harvests in his or her operation. And uh, you folks are really helping there as well, I trust. Yeah, for sure. When you look at uh, everything that's built into the farm fleet and field, uh, uh, information on our AFS Connect portal. Uh, it's incredible the amount of data that's available to producers today. And it's not enough just to, just to have the data. Uh, we've got to help them synthesize that data so that they can make good decisions uh, for, their, for their field and their operation as we go. And, and our platform is designed to do just that. As the one who leads this brand, when you get up into the cab, you climb those steps up there with the producer who's working in the field. What are some of the impressions you've come away with over the last year or two? What, what has uh, been a lasting feeling after you went back down those steps? That the, you know, the, the farmer, while he is more sophisticated, more informed, is demands more, understands his, his bottom line and the, the, the needs for additional productivity and getting more out of his land. At the heart, they're still the same. They're the same people that, uh, that we've worked with for, for generations here that, uh, again, are, are stalwarts in their community. They persevere through you know, the, the, the dynamic conditions, uh, all conditions, whether it's economic, environmental, whatever, uh, and they just get the job done. They've, they've accepted a mission to feed the world, and uh, I just find that so rewarding and so inspiring.
We've noted in our visits to the Case IH facilities in the past that many of the people who work there, many of the people who design and build the equipment also do farm. We'll share some comments from Scott Harris about that next weekend here on This Week in Agribusiness.